Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Spring IOC. So, in this video, I'm going to explain about the Bean life cycle, and, and this is the project that I had created for Spring IOC. So, I already covered the setter injection, constructor injection, and object injection and dependency injection example. So, this is the project that I'm using. So here we have certain injection completed constructor injections. So let's start the bean life cycle. So bean life cycle is something. Uh, let's take example of this project Pojo class. So let's say I want to execute a method when the object of when the this bean is getting initialized. So at that same time I'm I want to execute uh, some some of my methods. So I have some um, some of the properties that I want to initialize and to get the property from the properties files or something else that I want to do while the object of this class is getting initialized. And and other for the beam life cycle, uh, let's say I want to execute something after the before that object of this class is getting destroyed so to achieve that in spring we have two interfaces there are different ways to achieve that actually so since i am using xml based approach so we can use the interfaces there are two interfaces to achieve it and we can also configure in the xml file so let's see the first approach so we have our interface this uh, we have interface initializing bin initializing bin and Let's import the package. And this interface has an abstract method that we we have to achieve. We have to override actually. So this is the method after property set. So while the object of this class is getting created, in the same time we can execute this function. So let's say so we can print something here in this function so initializing bean and so this is about to to execute some methods when the object is getting initialized so to call a methods before the object is getting destroyed, we have a dispo disposable bean. So this interface is in Spring Framework bean factory disposable bean in this package, and this interface has an abstract method that we need to overwrite so destroy method is there so let's print some statements here okay so so now we can test it uh, we did the we have implemented the interface so now we can test it we don't need these two statements so whenever get bean is getting called at the same time uh, this method will be executed so, so as you see here our set setter matter is getting executed 
and in slicing bean is getting executed so if we see this class so this function is getting executed after property is set So our initializing bin is getting executed successfully. So, so more or less remove the setter methods. So in statement in the setter method, we don't need the statements. So here so the setter methods we we were using these for testing purpose to, te to test the setting injection so right now we don't need so let's test it again okay so our initializing bean method is getting executed now to execute the destroy methods also that we have uh, we have a destroy method also that is from disposable bean so to execute that method we need to uh, we need to register the shutdown hook actually so so this destroy method will be executed by the application while the object is getting destroyed so definitely it should be when the application is um, will be completed and if it is a standalone application or if it is a web application so Whenever application is shut down, so in that same time we object is, will be destroyed for particular bean. So to register that shutdown hook, we need to we have one class actually that is abstract application context and So right now we don't have the dependency also. So this this is the dependency spring context dependency. So this dependency we need to provide for this project. Uh, now we can import the package so the abstract application context is in the context of support package so it should be class path application context okay we don't need this statement okay so now we need to register the shutdown hook so this should be Context and this should be context. So now, if we execute, if we test, if we execute this test class, so now we will be able to call our destroy method. So, so our bean lifecycle methods are working now so this 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 is the way we need to register the shutdown hook and then we need to configure we need to provide the interfaces so this is one of the way we can achieve it the second way is using xml file itself we can achieve it so we just need to provide these two init method name so here let's check the init methods and there is one more tag that is destroy method and 
destroy and the method for init is after property set so we don't need these two interfaces now because using XML itself we are executing the lifecycle methods so if we let's test, test it now yeah it's working so this is the second way we can uh, configure the lifecycle methods of a bean so there are other ways actually using annotation we can also achieve that so that I will cover in the further annotation based approach so using XML based approach we can mm, implement the interfaces or we can provide those lifecycle methods in our XML files so that's all for the bean life cycle so thanks for watching See you in the next video. Bye-bye.